so hello friends today we are going to discuss the vitamins so first of all uh, historical point of view we will discuss two scientists one is hopkins hopkins okay and uh, the other scientist is funk okay so hopkins discovery of vitamins taken by hopkins while the term while the term coined by the funk okay and it, it is the in in the year of 1912 okay both scientists is awarded by nobel prize okay so if you see the vitamins it is the organic compound it is the organic compound okay and they required in very minimum amount meant required in required in minute quantity minute quantity okay and they are not synthesized in your body they are not synthesized not synthesize in your body okay so only exception is here exception is here one is vitamin d okay it vitamin d is synthesized in your body okay and uh, vitamin k is also synthesized inside your body okay so it is the exception okay so vitamins actually vitamins is classified into two parts means classification is based on the polarity on the basis of on the basis of lipid and water soluble and water soluble okay so i have discussed the lipid part that it is containing the glycerol alcohol and plus fatty acids okay means they are hydrogen hydrocarbon containing compounds okay so if i have mentioned here fat soluble vitamin fat soluble vitamin they and it is the vitamin a d e and k okay. means in this fat soluble vitamin hydrocarbon chain will be present and it is in this isoprene unit is present iso prene unit is present okay so that's why like these are like phenomenon due to presence of isoprene unit which is hydrocarbon chain and in the lipid hydrocarbon chain maximum part hydrocarbon containing so that's why they are soluble in fat while the remaining is water soluble and in this b vitamin b complex and vitamin c is included okay so in this water soluble vitamins means in this hydrogen bonding or another factor involved so that's why they are soluble in water okay so that's so solubility is based means there will be hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding maximum hydrogen oxygen and nit oxygen hydrogen and oxygen will be present okay so that's why interaction will be possible between the these vitamins and water okay so that's why they are soluble in water okay so it is the classification okay okay the so actually here the disco disc discovery agar if you discuss the discovery of vitamins okay so actually what happened here the one symptoms called beri beri okay so one scientist i hopkins um, searching for cure of beri beri disease and uh, in the rice brain in the rice brain okay and the missing substance they called the vitamins 
it is the missing substance on the in the rice bean missing substance okay so these they missing substance they call the vitamins okay and some are the remaining parts some term like the pro vitamins okay pro vitamins means they can convert it to active vitamins okay like that vitamin d okay in this vitamin d okay vitamin d is present vitamin d actually in active form in inactive form it is present on the your epidermis epidermis and in the presence of sunlight okay it is converted to active vitamins okay active vitamins mean active vitamin d okay the next the next one is vitamin a vitamin a okay so it is present in carotene okay when you are taking they converted to active vitamin a okay so it is the pro vitamins means after a uh, in the presence of either sunlight or human enzyme activity they converted to active form okay before this they act as a pro vitamins the next one the next term is a vitaminosis a vita minosis a vitaminosis so why it is named as a vitaminosis a means they are missing means deficiency of vitamins a indicates a deficiency so deficiency when a is initially used then it indicates that after that word is missing okay so a vitaminosis indicates this that deficiency of defi cnc of vitamins okay like that vitamin a deficiency it in vitamin a vitamin a deficiency causes the night blindness okay night blindness vitamin c cause is curvy okay so like that so the deficiency of vitamins uh, generates a specific disease okay inside your body so deficiency of vitamins term as a a vitaminosis okay the one term is also remaining is hyper vitaminosis okay hyper vitaminosis means hyper indicates the excess when hyper is added before this then it indicates the excess if here a, here is hypo then it it indicates the a uh, low amount means okay so hyper indicates the excess means vitamin if you are taking in excess amount they generate toxicity toxicity and generate specific disease generate specific disease are symptoms okay so it is called hyper vitaminosis okay so it is the very important point regarding the vitamins okay so in the next lecture we will describe the chemical name of vitamins and function and their deficiency i means uh, what is the deficiency if you are not taking the vitamins okay so it, it is all about the regarding the vitamins and in the second lecture we will discuss the chemical name of vitamins chemical name deficiency okay of specific vitamins and function of vitamins okay and the deficiency how you can remove so we will discuss the sources how you can remove the specific deficiency of vitamins okay so in the next lecture we will discuss these parts okay so thank you for watching this video and we will meet